Why is it that sometimes more expensive medications are preferred versus less costly alternatives? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. They are, unfortunately, what's happening is the brand name drug company is rebating enough money to the PBM that it actually nets the cost of the brand drug to be lower than the generic. So you mentioned three to five times more. So you can imagine the size of the rebate the drug company has to pay the PBM in order to get the cost of that drug to be less than they would they would pay for the generic. I mean, that's ridiculous. It is. Uh, and we see that, I saw it, I think I saw it mostly, first time I really saw it was Lipitor, a uh, very big cholesterol drug and it went generic, but there were several plans that still had it, even though the generic was pennies compared to the brand name, there were many plans that still had it on formulary as a preferred agent. And I, I couldn't understand, just couldn't believe it. And now we see it with uh, Adderall and a few other medicines where there is a generic drug that is significantly less expensive, but whatever reason, the brand name manufacturer is able to keep the price or is able to rebate enough of that money back to the PBM, to the PBM to be like, okay, we'll keep your brand drug as preferred. Mm -hmm. um, we usually see that more with when a drug first goes generic. When a drug first goes generic for the first six to eight months, it's pretty much we're just going to be honest here. It's made by the brand company. It's brand name Lipitor in the generic bottle. Just for for example, you know, you've seen that. Yep. Um, and um, that means the price doesn't really come down very much. Mm -hmm. and, and then once more competition enters the marketplace, then the price starts to come down. Um, but for the first six to eight months when a drug first goes generic, we're dealing with this with some inhalers right now where the there's a generic inhaler, but the brand is still mandated by the plan. The plan says, no, you have to dispense the brand. And that wouldn't bother me as much if the patient was still not responsible for paying the copay. So for example, if they have a generic copay for their plan, say it's $15 and the brand drug is $40 as a copay, but they're mandated to get the brand drug based on their plan, that to me says, well, they, they should get the savings then. They, it's not, I mean, they have an option to do a generic, their plan is just not allowing them to but the plan is still charging them the brand name copay of $40. Yeah. And that's the part that really bugs me is that um, in addition to all of this stuff with, you know, with rebates is the patient is still having to pay a more expensive copay, even though there's a generic available just because there's a back end deal with the brand name company and their pharmacy benefits manager.